Okay, um, so I have this uh, code here to make uh, a test. And so this code work in, works in this way. I got, this is the, the code actually, uh, the SpyDarm2. And uh, then we have this and this. Uh, in, uh, in this folder, Dati, uh, we have the txt file with the questions. And these are like this. Uh, there is a question on top and then we got the possible answer. The right one is the top and then we have an empty line and so on. You can put as many questions as you want, as many answer as you want per each uh, for each uh, question. And so in your file, so this is the main script, there are some other scripts into this one and tar this create file dom and the dom starts and this is to save save a file with a new name this is to um, to put the html uh, mm, the first part of the html uh, code this is the second part of the html code and uh, mm, instead these are the templates that i use um, and then to which I substitute the new questions and to substitute the new questions into the HTML code um, is what uh, this uh, script does. At the end there will be the uh, an output there is this HTML file that will look like like this. You see here there is uh, the question and three possible answers you're gonna check one of the answers and then check the uh, the answer like this then there is a synthesizer voice, voice that tells you that you have done right or maybe you're wrong and if you're wrong it tells you what was the right answer and so it goes on here you see how many questions uh, there are which is the question you're answering now and which is the last one at the end it will give you a percentage of a uh, right answer that you that you have made so um, so this is the um, okay this is a template and this is a let me go in here and delete something that we don't actually need okay and uh, um, Let me update uh, my GitHub repository to delete some stuff that you don't need. So um, let's see how this is made. Um, the main file has one function in one class with uh, some methods. So um, let's take a look at uh, this thing here. Okay, this thing got other mm, function inside of the main functions and these are list of questions, list of list of questions and delete empty items. This practically this is processing uh, this process the file name data into a dic into a dictionary. So it takes um, takes the data, the data from file name dot txt, and and converting and convert them into a dictionary. Okay, this dictionary at the end uh, will have this. Uh, this shape will be uh, like a uh, question equal what is etc. Then we'll have image equal something. Then we'll have mm, the answers. Okay. Uh, image choices 
with all the answers. It's a list. And then it will have the correct answer. That will be a string. Okay. Mm, and also the explanation that I haven't put any explanation. Uh, or maybe yes, I don't remember. Yes, it's what it tells when it's wrong. Okay, so okay, so this is the this will be the final output, and so from um, what is uh, answer is is answer one is answer two is answer three for from this it will go into this so this is what it does from this to this so this is what this thing does and it returns this um, this dictionary right now once what this is for okay this dictionary then is used um, is used here in uh, create code for templates so uh, this just uh, loads this image that is use it in the HTML file show files mm, the show files is used here to show what uh, which uh, which of the data you want to choose you put the number in here um, so then it input input file name it, it asks you to choose one and it will put the what you choose into self dot file name contains the txt file you choose with the question questions you choose then create code for template goes here and practically it just uses this one uh, to this one to get the QDIC and the dictionary so I could probably uh, I could do this I could select this and put this into the class okay and place it like this so instead of this make it more simple I'm gonna create this and then at the end instead of returning qdic I'm gonna make self dot qdic equal qdic qdic uh, let me see if it works so now we get just one class so it's more uh, easy to understand what it is so if we run okay I need to put self here I need to put self file name here maybe okay Okay, so um, it's okay, it's right. Um, maybe I could put the question down here and the image up, but I have to change the template in this case. Um, so that 
that is a first look at this code. We want to spend some time um, making a graphic user interface for this. So for the moment, I will just I will just stop here. Thank you and see you next time.